Hey guys, it's King for Fisher Creek Outdoors today. Um, with part seven of my ta of my tackle box series here. Um, so if you would like to say, like I say in my other videos, if you would like to see any of these baits that you see in the video in a more detailed video or in a uh, close up, I'll make a special video for you just on the specific bait that you request. I'll do everything on it, everything that you could possibly imagine. So, today we're going to be doing swim jigs and chatterbaits. Um, I, uh, I might decide to do the chatterbaits separate, but, you know, I'm kind of in the moment now, and I'm just going to do it. Um, so in here, the only swim jigs that I use are dirty jig swim jigs. No doubt in my mind. Any other bait company makes a color a color selection like they do. Their color selection is amazing. Their skirts are amazing. They just everything about this jig is amazing. Their hook is uh, amazingly stout. And even the California swim jigs, these are the regular swim jigs. The California swim jigs have even bigger hooks. And the hooks just you can you can hit that rod just like like you're setting a hook on a flipping rod when you're flipping. And they're just uh, great swim jigs. So, um, let's get started. So, I have one dirty jig swim jig in the yellow perch color. Three eighths ounce. And one of those. Now, just a little tip. I see a lot of people take their jigs and they just throw them in and their skirt's all messed up and they're, it's all over their head and they, that's what that's what their bait looks like and it's all up in here in the hook and stuff and they just throw their jig into their box and it's all messed up and if you want your skirt to perform at full at full performance here's a little tip before you put your jig back in your box if it's wet you dry it off and if after it's wet if it's this is step one for that was step one step two you're gonna want to take the skirt from flaring it out and take it and if it's messed up after you dry it off it has to be completely dry or else this won't work if it's messed up take take your skirt and make it look neat then you're gonna take it run your hand down it so the skirt is thin and you're gonna take it and you're gonna slide it in your box so that the skirt is uh um straight so it looks good and I'll show you what it what it should look like if you see that bait let me show you here I take this take that slim down the skirt like that Sorry, I'm kind of doing this blind, but oh well. And then you put it in. Now I have a whole box to fix. Oh well, though. Right? I gotta fix all those jigs. But anyway, to continue on with the colors, I have one in the... One... These are all these jigs... All these are 3 8 ounce. I have one in the crappy color. Three-eighths ounce, dirty jig, swim jig, crappy. I have one in the black, blue, black and blue, three-eighths ounce. And as you can see, it has a Berkeley Gra Havoc grass pig. If you haven't seen on my previous video, I showed this. This is the black and blue, black, blue, silver fleck color. And that just matches up with that jig perfectly. So there's that. Next, we have the Dirty Jig Swim Jig 3 8 ounce in pumpkin seed brim. Perfect. If you have pumpkin seed in your area, this is the jig for you. Pumpkin seed brim color, 3 8 ounce, Dirty Jig Swim Jig. I have two of those. I have two of those. And then we have the green sunfish color which 
green sunfish. A lot of people probably don't even know what that is. They're basically, it looks like a cross between a pumpkin seed and a bass. That's basically what it looks like. Although that's not what it is. I mean, it's green. It's It has dark green, lime green, and yellow in it. It's one of the most gorgeous fish. And it also has some browns in it and stuff like that. And the upper fins uh, have a little bit of white on it. And this just does the job. It has that white in it. Has the white. It has that yellow on the bottom. It has the green. Now our our green sunfish have a little bit more green in it than other states. So this is probably not going to be as vibrant with greens as ours is. It's still green sunfish. Some aren't that vibrant. And that's just one of those. So I have three of these and three eight ounce dirty jig swim jig. And the green sunfish. I have three of those. And then we have the last color, which is probably the most versatile and the most widely used is the bluegill color. Dirty Jig Swim Jig Bluegill 3 8 ounce. It has the lines. These skirts, the Dirty Jig Swim Jig skirts are so complex and you just don't need that many colors. They're just so good. Now, I still like a lot of colors, but the colors that you do get need to com be complex colors. And Dirty Jigs, dig, dig, Swim Jigs just does that. I mean, look at that. Has the sparkles in there. And it has these lines here. I have three of those and three eighths ounce bluegill color. So as you can see, those last three that I just showed you are your natural colors. Then you have your... Oh crap, I didn't show you these yet. Those are like your sunfish imitating colors. You have your pumpkin seed brim, which is a type of sunfish. You have your green sunfish, and you have your bluegill. I mean, and then we have two more colors here to show you. These are like your shad colors, instead of like your bluegill base colors. So this is called ta chartreuse sad. Has all those blacks, the grays, the whites, the chartreuse in there, the silver... That's a great bait. I have three of those as well. And I recommend for these as trailers um, the Zoom Fat Albert for this specific color in particular. Zoom Fat Albert Chartreuse Pepper in the 4 inch? I think it's the 4 inch. There it is. And then you can also use the grass pigs for it. Those work fine as well. Now for this one, you can use the white, the silver white flat grass pigs work well for it. As well as the Zoom Fat Alberts. These are the Chartreuse Sad, 3 8 ounce Dirty Jig Swim Jig. And these are good for, this is just another shad color. These, you can use the pearl white silver flat Berkeley Havoc 5 inch grass pigs. You can use the Berkeley Havoc gra grass pigs 5 inch in the Chartreuse Silver Fleck. And then you can also use the Zoom Fat Albert in the chartreuse color, 4 inch. It is, I have three of those as well. As you can see, what, what of these I do have, I have a bit of. And then you can also use all these baits. Lake Fork Magic Shads, either the boot tail version or the original, work excellent with them. So here we have one rigged up. Now, I should have a bigger one in it, but this is a good spring bait because it has a smaller profile. This is a 3.5 inch Lake Fork Chartreuse Pearl Boot Tail. There it is, paired up with that Dirty Jig Swim Jigs 3 8 ounce Chartreuse color. So, I have three of those color. And let's get on to the chatter baits now. Let me put these jigs back in their box now for the box I use I use these are for my swim jigs and chatterbaits only I use the falcon the falcon tackle boxes they have four latches on them and they're and they're thin they're they're pretty thin but they work great for the swim jigs because you don't have that bulk and you can fit several in a compartment so they have the line that runs up the middle and then you have a one divider in the middle that you can take out it, 
I love this box for my swim jigs. Now for my next video, I'll be doing my jigs, my just big jig box instead of just swim jigs. And that's a big, huge, deep box, four and a half inches deep. But anyway, let's move on to the chatterbaits. For the chatterbaits, I only use three colors. I like my shad colors. Um, I should have some blue bluegill colors here that I should get. Um, but anyway, here's the sexy shad color, three eighths ounce. Z-Man Chatterbait. I'll use a Z-Man. I have one of those. I have the Chartreuse. The Chartreuse Z-Man Chatterbait. 3 8 ounce. I have three of those. And then we have uh, the Chartreuse White Color. 3 8 ounce. I have three of those. I need to get more dirty jig swim jigs just because, you know, they don't. The only place that I know sells them is Tackle Warehouse and DirtyJigs.com. Um, here are some good trailers for those. Lake Fort Magic Shads work great on these. And then you could also use the Grass Pigs. There's one, in, there's one rigged up. And then. Here's one rigged up. That is just a pure vibration, mate. The, the, the boot tail's giving off vibration. The blade's giving off vibration. The When it wiggles, that's giving off vibration. It's just a vibration, vibration bait. Um. So, yeah, that, that's, the, that's it for this video uh, on my, like, swimming jigs. My swim jig box and my chatterbait box. Um, so like I said earlier, if you would like to see any of these videos in, uh, closer context or a detailed video or close-ups on them, um, a whole nine yards, comment below, and I'll get pa back to you and make a video specific on the lore that you request to see. Um, so yeah, this is Keegan from Fishing Creek Outdoors, uh, thank you for watching, this is part seven of the my tackle box part series. I forgot to mention that. This is part seven. Thank you for watching.